Hello, first grade friends. I wish that I could see you in person. I wish I could give you big squeezes, but we are going to do some reading work today. Even though we're not together, we can still continue to learn and grow. And so I'm excited for you to be here in my house with me. I'm upstairs in my little office. Big Mac is coming and going, so maybe you'll get to see him. We are going to work on um, our letters and sounds. We're going to review the short vowel sounds. We're going to do a red word, and then we are going to um, work on words with the magic E. So if you want to pause the video and go get a piece of paper and um, a red crayon, a red marker, or really any color, you can. If you don't want to do that, you can just write on your hand. That's fine too. So we will go on. We're going to start off with our letters and our sounds. So I'm just going to flash up our letter card and I want you out loud so that somebody can hear you. Um, say the sound for each letter. Here we go. Okay, good job. Now we're going to put some letters together and blend them into words. So I'm going to move this so that you can see what we're going to do. I've got I in the middle, the short sound for I, and we are going to do K, I, T, Kit. Now we are going to do R I P rip. Now we are gonna do G I P gip. Is that a real word or a nonsense word? You should be putting your thumb down for that one because it's a nonsense word. Okay, now we're going to do one of our red words. And our red word that we're working on is the word when. So now is the time if you have a piece of paper and something to write with, you can be writing this word, when. W-H-E-N. Now watch as I how I write those letters. W-H-E-N. When will I see you? When? Once you write that, let's trace over it with our finger three times and read the word. W-H-E-N, when. W-H-E-N, when. One more time. W-H-E-N. And when. And then I want you to write it three more times in list format, just like that. And then your sentence will be, when will I see you? When will I see you? You can pause the video and write that now. Don't forget your capital letter. 
Don't forget to read each word to make sure it makes sense. And don't forget your punctuation at the end. Okay, now let's go on to our lesson. I'm going to show you a few, then we'll do some practice ones, and then you'll do a few on your own for an assignment. The first one we're going to do, well, if you look up here, it says I can read and spell words with the magic E. You've already been introduced to the magic E, so it's just, this is a reminder that that magic E is the, the E that comes at the end of a word. It's the last letter of the word, and it's magic because it changes the vowel sound. It's also magic because we don't say it out loud. Okay, let's do some examples. Okay, the first one is H I D. That's a fairly simple word. We can tap that out. We've got ha i da hid. I hid from you when we were playing. Hid. Now, if I put the magic E at the end, I'm going to put a little star above it to show that it's magic. Think about some fairy dust. I'm not going to say that E, but it is going to change that I. It's going to change that I from being a short vowel to a long vowel. So it's going to say hide. Let's review real quick what the vowels are. We've got A, E, I, O, U. Those are the vowels. So those are the sounds that the E is going to change. All the other letters are consonants. So we changed hid to hide. Now let's look at the word tin. T -i -n, tin. You may have tin on your roof or you may have some tin foil. If we put that magic E on the end, I'm gonna star it like this to show that it's magic. And it changes that I from I to I. So it would be t -i -n, tine. Now, it's not like the time you see on a clock. The, the word tine means a sharp point of a fork. That's what tine is. Don't use that word very often, do we? Okay, the last one we're going to do is sid. S -i Da, Sid. This could be um, short for Sydney. It's not a word that we use for an object. So we could say that it's a nonsense word if we're not using it for a name. If I put that magic E on the end, it's going to change that I to I. So it's S I D side. Okay, let's practice some together. So I'm going to give you the word. B -i -t. What is that word? Now I want you to add a silent E, a magic E, so I'm going to put that star on top of it, and I want you to say out loud what that word has changed to. If you said bite, you are correct. Okay, now comes your assignment. I'm going to give you three words. I'm going to give you p-i-n. I'm going to give you k-i-t. And I'm going to give you r-i-d. Your job is to get a piece of paper. You can use the paper that I sent home with you or any kind of paper. And then you are going to add the magic E to pin, kit, and rid. Once you do that, I want you to draw a picture of what that word is, and I want you to write a sentence with it. So for each word, you should have the word with a magic E, a picture, and then underneath a sentence with a capital letter and punctuation. You're going to take a picture of this and submit it to Seesaw. And once you do that, you get two dojo points for each word. So if you do all three words, you could get two, four, six dojo points. 
So I can't wait to see your responses and I will see you soon.